All right, what's up everybody? Um, we're gonna be doing a install video for Little Bee's Fabrication Hybrid Bumper. It's a plate and two bumper combined. Um, first step you gotta do is get your cuts lined out. Um, so for every setup, tire setup is gonna be a little different. Um, for mine, I got 285s. Um, so for mine, it was 34 and three quarter. Basically what you're going to want to do is chase the top of the line from uh, your fog light here. Um, I taped out this whole area, um, measure out your number, whatever your number may be, put some dashes across it. Also if you have a laser level that can be handy um, to get yourself a nice straight cut. Um, so you're going to chase out your number, mine was 34 and 3 quarter, dash the line, connect the lines. Then use something like a DeWalt or similar um, multi-tool. Um, I wouldn't suggest using a grinder. Um, the rotational spin of the grinder is going to be throwing hot plastic all over the place, uh, getting on you, getting on the truck. Um, if you don't have one of these, you can pick them up at Home Depot for about 125 bucks. This is the preferred method um, for cutting the plastic on your bumper. So step one, measure it out, chase your dotted line, cut the line. Then when it's time to do the opposite side, I started with passenger. Um, when it's time to do the driver, you're gonna remeasure your cut. If, you, if your cut got off or your line dipped and you need to level it back out, then chase, uh, once you level it out, it might have grown to 34 and 7 eighths or something like that. So measure your line off of your first cut after it's squared out and transfer your line over to, in my case, the driver's side. All right, step one. So you can see I got my line chased out. Um, you can see I got you know some bad measurements here. X those out, got my good measurements, continued my line all the way through. Now what the way I'm gonna cut this is I'm gonna make a puncture cut here and then here and here and here, and then I'm gonna go back and connect the dots. Um, if you try to make this in one straight cut, it's it's not gonna it's not gonna go as you plan. Um, we do a lot of, uh, of this kind of stuff at my job. We do a lot of shipping container modifications. We cut out walls on shipping containers. Um, I'm kind of taking the same approach to uh, cutting this bumper. Um, not only will it leave material in to keep everything straight and, and it won't sag, um, you know, if you cut from this end, this, uh, this end's gonna start sagging down on you. So I'm gonna make a plunge cut and a plunge cut and a plunge cut and then go back through and start connecting the dots. All right, so you can see it worked pretty well. Um, making plunge cut, plunge cut, plunge cut, plunge cut. Um, down here when you're getting into the fender, um, I would suggest cut through just the layer of the fender and free the fender up. Um, I knew I was gonna have a little trouble, so I sent it south. And you can see my cut got a little wonky here, but since it's in the piece that's dropping off, it's not a big deal. When in doubt, put extra cut into this piece and not this piece, it'll save your uh, the look of your of your fender and the look of your uh, the body lines. Um, so I'm gonna cut the other side. All right, y'all got the cut here. Match the cut over here. Um, there are two. Well, you gotta undo your fog lamp lamps, and then there's two wire uh, clips on those fog lamps. I just chopped them off of the the factory housing using my same multi-tool. Um, then these are the only two extra bolts that will be holding it up there, up under here. Um, you can take them off beforehand or afterwards. It doesn't make any difference. Um, uh, I think it kind of worked out good for me to take them off afterwards. Uh, it was help holding the bumper up. So as I made my last cut, all the stress wasn't going on the wires for the fog lamps. And so the, the bumper didn't fall off and, just kind of take a dive. Um, 
So yeah, bumper is cut. I will remove these guys. I imagine they're just kind of clipped on there. Um, take that off and then uh, we'll have to cut the splash guards on both sides. Uh, I'm gonna kind of wait to do that so uh, I can really figure out what I need to cut and if I can kind of use maybe the heat gun and push some of that back up in to hide some stuff or I don't know, we'll see once I get the bumper on there. Um, so yeah, next step, pull these off um, and start prepping to bring the bumper over. All right, so we got bumper, factory bumper cut off. We got the bumper here sitting on a pallet. Um, we're getting the winch set up. Triangular frame bra brackets on hand tight so we can go in and get the four post studs in and then we can tighten this down to the body mount after the fact. And now we are mounting the solenoid on the solenoid mount. So in your kit, you'll see uh, this bracket and two of these triangular brackets um, You know that they're in the right place by matching up the triangle to the triangle that's underneath here So triangle to triangle and then this is your solenoid bracket um, Solenoid bracket goes to the tab on the passenger side right here um, and this will get a bolt like so and These two allen keys right here will match up with the holes on here. All right, so once you get the bumper mocked up, you're gonna re-put on the factory bolts here and here and here. Uh, those are post, um, these posts that are coming off the frame, they match up to the uh, cuts in the bumper. And then you're also gonna put in the factory ones that you take out of these squares that pop out of here. Re-put these ones in. You might have to re-drill just a little bit. I had to open up this hole just a hair, but uh, they're self-tapping. You can see in the top here. So just give it a little help and they'll send themselves home. Um, these ones back here are a little tricky. If you, if you pre-mount this, um, you can just bend it in and out of the way. Um, a definite good thing to have is an extension with a swivel on it. Um, you can put the the nut in the extension, thread it through, definitely have a headlamp on, line it up and send it home. Uh, you wanna get all six um, on hand tight and then look at the line of your bumper to make sure that that's dead straight. Um, you can man manipulate it a little bit, get these ones up and under and these ones up and under and then go through and tighten left side, right side, left side, right side, underneath, underneath and then you can put the bottom cover plate. Um, so there it is. Um, you'll also notice uh, that these plates and these bars right here, they're not factory. Um, I'm a fabricator myself. Um, I wanted to make something, my bumper different than everybody else's and add a little of my own flair to it. Um, so I just took some perf that I had laying around at my shop um, and had, uh, had the powder coater coat those to my same color as the Tacoma. Um, next step is to add on this plate. This is the undercover 